hello everyone so today I'm going to show you how to create an animated cursor like this so as you can see here you can see there is some animation in the cursor that I have created so I'm going to show you how to create something like that so here is a preview of that uh, cursor material and here if you want you can change it into uh, any color you want so yeah let's see how to do that and this episode is sponsored by these generous patrons thank you very much for the support right uh, so this is what i have at the moment it's just a hardware cursor when i open the inventory i get this hardware cursor so this is not an animated cursor it's a regular cursor with the different texture so now let's see how to implement an animated texture animated uh, cursor so first step is mm, like what's the cursor we should implement Let's try something like this with an animation. Yeah. Let's uh, copy one of these images. Inside Photoshop, let's make fifty by fifty. Oh, wait. Let's close this. Control new create three hundred by three hundred. Right. Now first I'll delete these things everything so let's just get this image as a software cursor after that let's see how to animate it right i guess that's okay Let's save this into our project location. Show an explorer, where's the location? Okay, here. Animated cursor. Oh. We need a transparent PNG. Right now, here we have the image like this. So let's first create under UI. Let's create uh, import this image first. Okay. And then let's create a widget WDG cursor and here 
let's add an image into zero zero location and as the image I'll set this animated cursor size to 32 by 32 okay now let's go to project settings and user interface so yeah I'm gonna delete this hardware cursor and under software cursor let's set one under the default let's see WDG cursor right now let's see if that okay now we have that cool yeah we have the cursor but it does not have any animations yet oh. let's make it a little larger just for demonstration purposes like this so it is easier for you to see in the video okay now let's look into the animation part right first let's go here and select all the black parts how do we do it no duplicate this to color right so I have created a new layer which only specifies this uh, green area like this so let's save that too because uh, what do we call it let's call it glow oh it should be a PNG Let's import that to in here right now let's create a material using this animated cursor mat the domain should be user interface and blend mode should be it's a translucent okay let's make sure everything is oh wait now instead of animated cursor let's use animated cursor material let's see everything is in order everything is working right now let's drag and drop this part now here uh, also do we have any noise textures yeah we have which one let's use this noise texture mm, let's do a lot using this one as the alpha and another color input let's say vector parameter 
color let's call it uh, glow color and here I'll make it red like this and connect for the final color whoa that's wrong Ah, oh, sorry let's use alpha okay now right we have the glow now instead of just using red let's multiply this with uh, with this noise texture like this okay now as you can see this does not have any animation whatsoever so uh, to coordinate add okay. see now with this kind of an input we can give some moment to the cursor so if I multiply this by a parameter let's call it speed let's try something like 0.3 right now as you can see here it has an animation oh wait see now we have an animated cursor what else we need so here uh, instead of just selecting uh, this area I have uh, this exact area I have selected this uh, green shade as well now this alpha layer is like this here also we have some green shade uh, some shade so I'll save this again and re-import now we have these shades here as well so it should be affected now we here as you can see we have some of the animation in this area too so yeah now let's see how it looks right it looks better also what if we add a multiplier to this color as well let's try color multiplier If it is one it is like this if it is hundred it is like this which is not really good but okay now mm -hmm, what else let's add a sign to this one so that we can get some moment for the color intensity as well for this also we need the time in order to have a difference see L 
let's set this to two now you see we have some speed variation let's try this one that feels too slow right let's see how it looks okay so now what else we need right now by changing this color you can have any kind of a mouse cursor you want it can be the green red blue pink any color you want so all you have to do is just change in this cursor color mm -hmm. right I'll leave it like this for now and here is the final preview see so now we have an animated cursor and thanks for watching so as always the project files will be available for download through the patreon page so see you in another episode and if you like to support my work you can get the membership of the patreon club and goodbye